Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Um, today I thought I'd film three really easy um, hairstyles. Um, two of them are just like everyday hairstyles that I'll do if I'm going to work um, or I'm in a rush. Um, and then um, the third one will be a little bit more snazzy, um, a bit more funky and um, using some creative tools. Um, so without further ado, let's get on with it. So my hair is two day old hair. Um, which is perfect for this sort of, for these sort of styles. Um, so what I'm going to start off with, hand brush, it, whatever you prefer, and just brush my hair through. And then all I'm going to do is just brush it all the way back. I like this uh, this bun on the top of my head or top knot to be really sleek and smooth. Um, so I'm just brushing all those lumps out. going to start pulling that up towards the top of my head. Once I've got it to um, the height that I would like it, which is about here, all I'm going to do is rather than tying it now with a hair bobble, what I like to do is um, grab it with one hand, get my finger and sort of lift it out and then pull it pull it through with my finger and wrap it round that finger. And then all I'm gonna do is um, get a hair bubble. All I'm gonna do is just get a hair bubble, this lovely pink one, <laughs> um, and I'm just gonna pull my finger out, keeping it held with the one with the hair bubble on, and just start wrapping it around. And then once I've done that, I'll sort of rejig it a little bit till I've got my desired shape. And all I do is take some hairspray. I am using the L'Oreal L Net Satin um, hairspray, and this is extra strength. Um, and then all I'm gonna do is just hairspray any flyaways down. hair look it's really really easy to do I've literally done that in like a couple of minutes um, and then I'm ready to leave the house and um, so this is a really really quick and easy hairstyle to do um, if you're in a rush or, or you're on the go um, so moving on to the next one um, and this is another really easy hairstyle that you can do if you're just heading out the door so I'm just going to take this down So all I'm going to do now is take a section of hair at the front. So I'm going to do it from about just where my temple, just above where my temples are, and just sort of bring my hands around to meet in the middle. Section that bit off. Just going to quickly move that out of the way. Um, I'm just going <laughs> to, and here's the finished look. <laughs> and then I'm just going to grab the back bit. And I'm just going to put that and tie it behind just for now. Um, and then all I'm going to do with this top piece here is back comb, is back comb this back piece here. Combing brushes, you can get them from like any, pound any pound shop. And I'm just going to start, and I'm just going to start back combing this in sections. And then all you want to do is just leave one thin bit at the front um, free, not back combed. Otherwise, it looks like you'll, you'll otherwise you'll look like you've got like a bird's nest on the top of your head. <laughs> um, so then all I'm going to do is release that back bit that I had tied up, and then I'm going to take a big brush, and I want my sides to be smooth and all around. And then I'm just going to gently brush this top bit. And then all I'm going to do is just pop it in a hair in a ponytail, pull out any bits that I want to come a little bit forward. Then you want to just hairspray down any flyaways that you might have. And for me, that's Benny. And then 
what I like to do is just get some ends out here and just sort of pull them out. And here is the second finished look. Um, it's really, really easy to do. Um, also takes you five minutes and it looks really smart and um, gives a little bit of volume to your hair. And, um, and yeah, and here's the finished look. Second one, now time for the third one, which is a bit creative. Okay, so for this one, um, I am going to use, and I know it sounds really weird, but I'm going to use soldering iron um, or wire. Um, and recently, I've seen a couple of videos where um, where you put like little hair rings in your hair. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any hair rings, so I've had to improvise. Um, so I'm using some soldering iron right here, um, and. All I'm going to do is pull a little bit of this out, take as much as I want. So I want my, some of my rings, I want them to be a little bit bigger and some of them a little bit smaller. Um, and a pair of scissors. Um, so I'm going to cut this um, a couple of um, centimetres long. And it's really, really flexible as well, so you can really get your desired shape there. Um, and all I'm going to do with this straight piece, make sure it's nice and straight. I'm just going to wrap it around my finger and create <clears throat> and create a little loop. And here I have my hair ring. Um, so I've prepared a couple um, off camera. Um, so what I'm going to do to incorporate these hair rings, hair rings, <laughs> um, is just brush out my hair and then all I'm going to do is take a small section at the front of my hair um, just above my temples again and drag that all the way back I want these lines to be really straight so I'm going to take um, I don't even know what this is just some sort of pointed thing <laughs> um, and I'm just going to draw a straight line down one side and down the other. And once I've got my two straight lines all I'm going to do there is, and I want uh, you want this hair to go down just below your crown, so you've got enough hair there. And I'm just going to quickly section this bit off, and then I am going to pop the back piece in a hair bun, and then we're going to start working with this top bit. So what I'm going to do is just brush this through. Um, and then I'm going to start doing a duct braid. So all you want to do is just take the first section at the very front, just a very small section, um, divide that into three, and then you want to start crossing these under each other. So once you've done it once, just like you would with a normal plait, you want to then take the bit that's furthest to your, closest to your head and grab a piece from the back and then all you're going to do is just pop that behind so rather than going over the top you're going behind and then again and you just want to do this all the way down and then once you've run out of head All you want to do then is just grab a hair bobble and then tie that up. So at the moment this 
flat on top of my head is really sleek down and stuck to my head and I want to give it a bit more volume. So all I'm going to do is start pulling these flats out. Just slightly pulling them out just to give it a little bit more volume. And then all I'm going to do with the back piece, I want to hide this horrible coloured bobble up. So I'm just going to take a little bit from the uh, ponytail that I've got, wrap it round, get a hair grip and just secure that in place. And then now for the exciting part, I'm just going to start using some of these custom made hair rings <laughs> and start popping these in my hair. I'm just going to start popping these in my hair. And this is just so easy to do. You can pop as many or as little as you want in. I want quite a few. Just pop them in. And one more at the back. And then all we're going to do is let the hair down at the back. And then you can either curl this bit um, or leave it straight. Back comb some bits. But here we have the third and final hair look. I think this one's my favourite, the most creative. But I don't think I'll be doing this on a morning when I need to go to work. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is it, this is it finished. It's got the little custom made hair rings in there. And I think it just sort of sort of gives it a little bit of, a little bit extra, a little bit extra in there. Um, so yeah, this is it, this is the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, please like this video and subscribe. Bye guys.